Hi, it's Sasha Sal. So I'm coming back with the finished spiders that I promised you I'd show you. Okay, uh, there are two different versions. Okay, this one is for the glass patio door. And all I did was uh, tie a little uh, jewelry elastic. You choose uh, the thickness that you like. And then passed it through the hook of the suction cap. So you adjust the suction cap uh, uh, according to your glass. Of course, this is just a, a little mini uh, uh, glass uh, door that I created. And that's that one there. The other one is for the net. Okay, same idea. You just tie um, your little elastic at the end of the foot there. And then uh, you pass your elastic right through the net. And then behind it, pass the elastic through the hole and, and place your little bead. So when your little uh, spider is ready for hibernation, um, it'll be glad to have a little rest and then come back uh, and uh, show itself with another little bead. So I know that some people don't like spiders and I've had requests for dragonflies and butterflies and that's okay. I, I think that you know, butterflies that um, spiders that do have a place in nature, but you know, to each our own. So that's it. There's the other little friends. They're joining. Okay. So I hope you like this project. Oh, and I was going to just uh, suggest to you, don't be afraid to use a little dab of glue at the end of the, the legs here, the end where the little foot is, because if you feel like it's more secure, that's okay. And you can use it between the head and the body as well because uh, with the color of the, uh, the glue, uh, it'll look like part of the spider, spider anyway, so, so you can do that. So that's it. So next time I'll come back with the uh, dragonfly. I'll attempt those, the butterfly and the dragonfly. So I hope you like this project. Here they are, all of them together, all the little friends. So for now, Giselle signing out from my craft room. Thank you.